What's your sense of who may go where? Well, Robbie Ray is getting a lot of interest. Uh, Big-time strikeout numbers for him. He's actually located the ball a little bit better his last start out in front of a bunch of scouts. Good showing for him in that respect. Interestingly, Mark, one team that is a good fit for Robbie Ray is the one that the Diamondbacks are playing right now in New York. Mm -hmm. The Yankees looking for some more rotation help. So I would say for him, Robbie Ray, that the Yankees a good fit. The Astros as well. Part of the surprising trades we've seen, or at least agreed upon, with Bauer going to Cincinnati and, and Stroman going to the Mets, the teams that we thought needed pitching have not yet acquired it. So in many ways, a very active market still for Robbie Ray. Yeah, I think Robbie Ray might be a fallback plan for a lot of these teams. But if you look at his body of work, the last 11 starts, 10 of them have been six-plus innings, but also 12 and a half strikeouts per nine innings. And that is a good sign. If you want to swing and miss in a left-hander that has some upside, if you corral those walks and he, and he limits those walks, this is a guy that could be a really nice piece at the trading desk. Yeah, Mark, play GM for us, uh, given where the Diamondbacks are. Zach Ranke on the big contract. Is there a place you see him as a, as a fit if they're going to deal him? Yeah, and you know what? It looks like it's funny because you see Zach Ranke and the way he has been pitching. The, the sneaky team to me is the Angels. And why the Angels? Because, listen, in 2012, he had 13 starts in that uniform. He does have some uh, no trade in his contract. So I think that would be something that would appeal to Zach Greinke, if you look at that. Yes, Mark, and he was someone who loved pitching in Anaheim, loved the ballpark, loved the conditions. Of course, how could you not? And so I think it's a place where he'd be comfortable going back. And it's a great point, Mark, about the Angels being a good fit there because they've got the payroll capacity to do that. They don't have the best farm system right now, so Greinke fits teams well that have financial resources but maybe not the prospects to compete for the, the very best out there that are more affordably priced. So teams like potentially Philadelphia, Houston as well, possible fits there for Greinke. And you think about it too, uh, who doesn't want to try to get Mike Trout into a playoff race? That's right. important. And, and that is really a priority for the Angels moving forward. Zach Greinke will get them closer because you need to have some starting pitching in that in that rotation. He does have a limited no-trade clause that would be part of it, but, but certainly he's been to Anaheim once before. What are the Mets doing, and are they still likely to trade one of those starters what are the Mets doing <laughs> they don't even I, know I, I mean I, I've, I've been asked this question many times today and it's funny the answer is changing by the hour because we're not really d discerning exactly what's happening with the Mets but in general guys a lot of conversation still I had thought that the Padres would be a great fit for Syndergaard and they may still be a great fit for Syndergaard but in general they know the Mets that their deal on Sunday for Stroman cannot be the end they're trying to undo some of the damage to their farm system that happened during the course of the offseason with the trade for Cano and Diaz, which has not worked out. Uh, Syndergaard on the mound tonight, and you talked about this, Chris and Mark, about the way that he looked healthy on the mound, 100-mile-an-hour fastball, 89-mile-an-hour hmm. breaking ball. He looks good. And that this is about as good and consistent as Syndergaard's been all season long. It's been the last four or five starts. Great sign there. I believe Houston very much involved there. Minnesota as well. I still don't see, no matter how many times it's mentioned, I don't see the Mets and Yankees doing a trade okay. for Syndergaard or even Wheeler for that matter. But I do think, Mark, Syndergaard showed well tonight. I was Like you, I was surprised that he pitched at all. Mm -hmm. But it was a good outcome for him. Looked healthy. I think interest in him still on the rise. Yeah, we're always talking about the Mets. And they're going to control a lot of this trading deadline. I, I think the Padres have always been on Noah Syndergaard because they need that front line presence in their in their pitching staff with paddock right somebody to go he, with they right. need an example and, and i think that's what you when you start looking at health for noah syndergaard this year the mets are si selling high on on a health of noah syndergaard this really comes down to it but i like what jp said the houston astros are looming they need one of those front line starters and that would be good to put noah syndergaard as a number three that's a dominating step. We saw what they did with Verlander, and we'll also discuss Bumgarner. 11 strikeouts tonight for Syndergaard, a season high, so a perfect timing for him.